The Democratic Republic of Uganda and Kenya has been facing a lot of trade disputes and this has put an embargo in as far as economic growth of the two countries is concerned and Uganda suffered more than Kenya. Now Ugandans are asking themselves, will William Ruto's presidency improve the trade relationships of the two countries? As a matter of fact, under former President Uhuru Kenyatta, economic ties between Uganda and Kenya were among the most hazardous in the area, with the threats coming from both the public and private sectors in violation of the agreements made with the East African community. Geoffrey Macho, a member of parliament representing Busia municipality, a Ugandan district that borders Kenya, considers William Ruto's victory to be significant in as far as boosting trade between the two countries is concerned. The coming in of President Samuel William Ruto, as the fifth president of Kenya, our people on the border have expectations that he's going to improve business within uh, the cross-border fraternity. Because first of all, President Samuel William Ruto is a, a businessman. And uh, before he came in, we had the challenges that the government of the president, who was there by that time, was shifting goals in the trade agreements. And that's why you saw Uganda face a challenge of having uh, a blockage of maize, gray maize that was going to Kenya. As our elder, President Museveni, have the challenge to lead the charge on ensuring that we bring down the boundaries and the borders and the barriers so that we can have a borderless East Africa community. Kenya is both the cheapest and quickest trade route for Ugandan trade in the areas as well as Uganda's biggest trade partner. The relationship between the former president's administration and the Ugandan government has been sluggish as he nears the end of his second term in office. Kenya-Uganda trade uh, engagement as of now between the period of Kenyatta and now uh, President William Ruto is moving on well. I am aware that uh, President Ruto having a business background during the Independence Day, he had an engagement with the President Museveni and uh, he led a delegation of uh, more than 10 ministers and technical people including traders uh, and private investors from, the, from Kenya. Private sector players came here on the, on the 9th of Independence. They had a bilateral meeting with President Museveni to discuss issues of trade industry. I see a lot of improvement in the coming in of Kenya Kwanzaa government. Because when President Samuel Ruto came in, Kenya had stopped export of eggs to its country. But immediately he lifted that. He lifted that and there is a booming business in the poultry sector. According to records, a restriction on Ugandan milk products was enacted in 2020, resulting in the confiscation of 54,310 kilometers of powdered milk and 263,632 liters of Ugandan milk, totaling to 573 million and 643 million, respectively. The second embargo, which caused this tear, was on maize from Uganda. According to the Kenyan government, Ugandan maize contained unsafe levels of aflatoxins for its citizens. On his visit to Uganda for independence celebrations, therefore, the Kenyan president-elect William Ruto advocated for the elimination of trade wars. Africa region for us to work together so that we can transform our borders, which today stand out as barriers and convert them so that goods, services, and people can move across this East Africa without any impediments. For years, if not decades, Uganda has been a supermarket of sorts for products made elsewhere. Kenya has always benefited from both access to cheap Ugandan raw materials and fresh produce for its agro-processing industry and market for finished products. However, trade wars between Kenya and Uganda started to become obvious when Uganda's exports to Kenya 
increased in 2017, when for the first ever, Uganda reported a trade surplus with one of its biggest trade partners. Pedison Mumbere, Smart 24 TV, Business Today.